In this video, we're gonna be using Cold River Soapworks Select American Barbershop and the Rex Ambassador Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. And as mentioned before, today we're gonna to be using Cold River Soapworks Select. This is American Barbershop, beautiful barbershop scent. Really, really nice. Let's show you the notes or the way the scent is described right there. If you've experienced something like Maggard, London Barbershop, or Zingari Man, The Wanderer, it's in the realm of that. Scent is slightly under medium. Uh, I would call it lightly scented, but close to medium. Uh, the price on this is a fair price. It comes to $16.95 for four ounces. And on a cost chart there, that is $4.33 per ounce, which I think is a, is a fair price for a soap of this quality. Really nice quality ingredients. We'll put them for you right there. Uh, this is a tallow-based soap. You have goat's milk, coconut butter, shea butter, lanolin. Really good stuff in this soap, I think. And uh, I like the label too, just classy, not too busy. I really like it. And also today, we are going to say thanks to our viewer, A's Back, for providing this wonderful uh, travel case for the Rex Ambassador Razor. This is made of walnut, and I believe this is uh, Harween leather or Horween, however you say that. It is really, really nicely done. Uh, this is not an inexpensive case, by the way. It comes to you for a hundred bucks. The only thing I saw on this one was, looks like a machine mark right there. I'll show a picture um, to you folks right there. This one has like, looks like a, a tool mark where maybe some rotary tool sort of got into that and that's the way it was straight out of the box. So for the price, we'd like to see, you know, it not have things like that, but this is a gift. I'm very happy with it. Thank you very much, A's back. Um, it is really, really nice. The leather, soft and supple. We'll go ahead and show you. You pull that up through, this flap comes open and there is your Rex Ambassador. It is very elegant, very nice. And this would be a premium case uh, for sure. And so thank you so much, A's back. Uh, and he sent this to me as a thank you for all the content. And uh, this means a lot to me, A's back. Thank you very, very much. I'm gonna set that aside so it won't get wet. And out comes the Ambassador Razor, which is also a premium offering. This comes to you for $249, really, really pricey. However, it is made in the United States. It has a lifetime warranty, so that means something to me. This is a two-piece razor. You unscrew the bottom, cap comes off. And today we're gonna use some blades sent to us by Kim Gray. So thank you very much, Kim. These are uh, Gillette Winter Blades, and I believe they're made in India. And I think that gentleman right there is a cricket player. Uh, and so let's take the blade out. Never used these blades before, so thank you, Kim. And uh, I like the, the wrapper there, black. It's kind of a nice touch. And on the back it says, uh, for best results, use Gillette Shave Gel. We're not gonna do that today, but uh, very nice. And double wrapped, which I like. I don't know what it is, but I always enjoy uh, blades that are double wrapped. And out comes our blade, and you see it right there. And we're just gonna load it up in our ambassador. The Ambassador, again, not an inexpensive razor, but I think with hardware, you can sort of justify it um, by thinking of it in terms of a life, lifetime investment. And certainly this one is a lifetime investment. I know they have recently uh, another market, another razor has come out on the market, um, the Pearl Flexi, which is kind of a knockoff of this. Uh, I have not used that one, although the Stallion offered to send it uh, to me. We're going to start off today. We'll start off on about four and maybe take it up. Really, really nice. Easy to see on the settings there. Uh, beautiful razor, the Rex Ambassador, made here in the United States. Lifetime warranty. Okay, let's get going. We're going to start off by misting the face and we have 24 hours growth, which is standard. And we're just going to spray plain tap water from our continuous mister. By the way, I'll link the product below. If you're a uh, interested in any of them. I don't at, ever ask you to buy anything, but I do try to do the work of providing links for you. And we've got a nice lather here with our Cold River Soapworks American Barbershop. Uh, the bowl here is our daily driving bowl, the the uh, Captain's Choice Copper. The brush is West Coast Shaving Two-Tone. Inexpensive, but nice. And the Cold River Soapworks Select, I find it is an easy to work with uh, so if you want to make a fluffy lather, you can quite easily. If you want to make a, a dense lather, low structure, you can. It sort of affords you the ability to make whatever sort of lather you want. Easy to work with, and we've been talking more about that recently. 
some uh, soap bakers now with their formulas, they sort of force you into so maybe a super uh, dense, low structure lather and maybe not, not gonna produce the type of volume you like, maybe if you want a Santa Claus beard. Um, or maybe they don't burst into the lather quickly and you have to keep adding water or whatever. It, it really doesn't matter as long as you're enjoying it. That's the key. But Cold River Soap Works, I find, will give you whatever kind of lather you want. And for us, or for me, it's just basically a hydrated lather. That's all that I really need. I'm not really looking for anything extra there. And uh, as long as it's slick, it's going to be plenty good enough for me. And Cold River Soap Works is one of the, I think, best soaps on the market. Has been for years. For some reason, it fell out of favor and, it, you know, you don't see it as much. But uh, I think it certainly is one that you should consider if you're interested in a high quality soap. And that's very nice. Very nice indeed. Again, starting on setting four today and we'll dial it up for the next two passes. That feels quite nice and I'm getting ready to bloop. So let's just go ahead and rinse that off and save me the trouble of having to, having to clean it off the floor. Very nice. The blade feels nice and smooth as well. Blade preference is highly, highly subjective. So some people will see this video and, and uh, they'll say, I tried the Gillette winter blades and they were terrible for me. And other people will say they're great. And so when it comes to blades, you just really have to check. You just really have to try them trial and error, really. So thank you, Kim Gray, again, for sending these. I've never used them before and I appreciate it very much. And thank you again, Ace Back for the wonderful case. I really appreciate it. And I hope you don't take offense by me showing the little uh, the little mark on there. I just wanted to let people know if they're interested in buying it to sort of check it out. I did not reach out to Rex or anything because it's not that big of a deal for me, but it's not absolutely perfect on the fit and finish, which is why I showed that. Just so you'd be aware. I'm not saying all of them are that way. Yeah, this is very nice on setting four. This ambassador is an efficient razor. Um, I really like it. Very, very nice. Very nice indeed. Oh, let's let's go ahead and announce one of the givers of uh, uh, this week's giveaway. The first winner, we'll go ahead and show you the options for the drawing right there. And this was for the Pastor's uh, Timmerman uh, set. And the winner for that one is, we'll show you the winner, Jed Nouse. Jed Nouse, you are the winner. So please email me your address, cdb at imcdb.com. And I will get that out to you sometime next week. Thank you very much for participating. And I will announce another winner, or the, the winner for the Captain's Choice later in the video here. And have no fear, if you're not a winner today, we're gonna keep these things rolling. So there'll be another announcement, um, another giveaway announcement for, I think it'll be upcoming week seven, or somewhere thereabouts. So we'll keep the giveaways going. Thank you all for your participation. I really appreciate it, it means a lot. And let's get back to lathering here after we wet our face a little bit. That was an excellent first pass. The blade felt great for me, so no problems with the blade. Let's go ahead and get some lather on here. Um, I like these, I know uh, the dude of shaving, Junior, he does not like this brush at all because he says it's too floppy, but for me, it doesn't really matter. Floppy is not a big deal. As long as I can make a lather with it effectively, which I can, and apply a lather effectively, which I can, that's all that's necessary. And so he he prefers a little more backbone, and I find many people do. And so brush preference is like blade preference. You just have to try brushes until you uh, figure out what you like. And it, that's really what it's all about, um, enjoyment. You know, I don't find that high backbone is necessary um, in order to make a lather with any soap. But if you like it, then go for what you like. That's the great thing about having all these options is you can kind of get whatever you like. And there we go. No problem with the lather there. And I'm rinsing the, the brush handle there. Because when you get these hydrated lathers, the um, when you're lathering, the lather tends to run down the handle a little bit, which is why I kind of like a longer brush handle. Again, just a preference thing. Just a preference thing. So... Let's go ahead and turn it up this time to, we are on setting four. There, let's move on up to setting five and increase the efficiency a little bit. And this is, again, a magnificent razor. It is pricey, there's no doubt about it, but for me, you know, if you consider um, 
over a lifetime is that uh, a huge expense? Maybe. I mean, it just depends on who you are, but I find that the stainless steel razor like this that has a lifetime warranty, you know, I can justify that. It's a little bit harder for me with software, but ultimately it depends on your budget and you. If you, if you think uh, a product is worth it, go for it, you know? If you have the scratch, you know, go for it. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. You know me, I like to use a lot of budget stuff too. But I like to use a little bit of everything. And so I will talk about, you know, what things cost so you can sort of consider it if you've been, uh, you know, looking for a razor like this. But ultimately, it's up to you. Um, use whatever you like and enjoy it. That's the main thing. And I, I must say the blades today for me have been working quite nice. Um, no problems really with these winter blades. And I found that most of the Gillette blades are work pretty well for me. If they're Gillette branded, I find they tend to work pretty well for me regardless of whether, where they're made. Um, then again, I'm not super finicky when it comes to DE blades. Some people are, and so that is entirely okay. If you find that only a certain type of blade works well for you, go with it, you know. There's no problem at all. It's great to have these options, though. It really is, so you can just find whatever works uh, great for you. So, let's go ahead and kick off the next winner announcement. Uh, the next winner was for the Captain's Choice uh, set there, and we'll show you the options for the drawing right there and the number of entries and all that. And keep in mind, Patreon supporters auto get automatically injured and so the winner of this one was todd from take care man he also has has a youtube channel so congrats todd and he won by virtue of that patreon so excellent todd thanks for your support email me cdb at imcdb.com your address and we'll get the captain's choice uh sat there out to you and thanks to captain's choice and thanks to pastors for providing those items and thanks to you all for watching and again uh, make sure you enter the giveaway for this week coming up there'll be more items up and uh, every week until i run out of items <laughs> which will be a little while still so if you haven't won um maybe you will at some point i'll be honest with you i don't win a lot of stuff either i think i've um i've won one raffle of all time <laughs> so i'm not particularly lucky but um Hopefully you all will be, <laughs> and we certainly appreciate you watching and and certainly our supporters, regardless of how you support us, we really appreciate it. All right, excellent job here with the the uh, Culver Subwork Select. Again, this is a good, good quality sub. And it is capable of being lathered in any way you like. Creamy, um, low structure, high structure, whatever you wanna do with it, it's capable. And so, I really like that. And so for our last pass, we'll, we'll turn her up to six right there and finish it off in, a, in an efficient fashion. This is a very nice shaver. It's got some good heft to it. I think the Rex razors, both this and the Envoy, have the best knurling that I've ever seen or felt on a razor. It is fantastic. Um, when it comes to knurling, it doesn't get any better than that. It is very grippy, but it's not sharp to the touch. And so you definitely get um, the grip without any discomfort. It is a well-made and well-designed razor. And they went through a few uh, iterations. You know, they didn't cut, they didn't knock it out on the of the park on the first version. They had some trial and error sort of situations there. and. I know they, you can watch Matt from Razor Emporium's uh, video on it where he talks about things they changed over time with this razor. But they have certainly developed a really nice razor. And on, uh, on number six, this is a very, very efficient razor, I think. So you're gonna get some, you know, you're certainly gonna feel some blade. And uh, it is quite efficient on number six. I'd say in terms of adjustable razors, this is this is one of the more um, uh, efficient razors when it's turned all the way up. 
And I'd say, I'd probably argue even on some of the low settings, it's it's more efficient than say the vintage, uh, most of the vintage Gillette's when they're turned all the way up, just my feeling. But it is a nice razor. And uh, today we wanted to honor A's back. And of course, Kim, for sending the blades and the wonderful case. Thank you very much. Again, I really appreciate that. All the folks who help the channel, it's much appreciated. I tell you what, it takes a lot of time and effort and a lot of expense to do these <laughs> daily videos, but we do it for enjoyment. And we really do enjoy it. enjoy it. Otherwise, we wouldn't do it. It's one of those things where if I don't feel like making a video, which is rarely the case these days, but if I don't, I won't. You know, that's just the way it is. All right. That was an outstanding shave. Let me rinse. We'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. All right, and we are back. And today I'm actually showing the Lancaster towel because there will be a drop today. I'll put Andre's slide for you right there. So if you've been interested in one of these Lancaster towels, today, Saturday, is the day. And again, I'll I'll link the the uh, I'll link Andre's site there. They're really, really nice towel. I haven't been showing it lately because they're just not available. And I'm not one for showing a lot of things that aren't available. Um, just my thing. Uh, okay, so off cam, we did uh, a what did we do? We did a warm, <laughs> we did a warm water rinse. We followed it with the Allen block, almost no stinging. So that was a very nice, smooth um, shave there. And then we rinsed it with cold water. Now we're going to apply our Thayer's. And of course we dried our face in between. Little Thayer's magic because it's made by witches. This is Thayer's cucumber. And we'll just sort of rub that just a little bit and work it in. And boy, I'm telling you, today was a really, really nice shave with the Rex Ambassador with the blades sent to us by Kim Gray, Gillette Winter uh, blades. Really, really nice. I enjoyed it. The Culver, Cold River Soap Works Select never disappoints. Really nice quality soap. Excellent barbershop scent. I really enjoyed it. And of course, we'll show you once again the case. Of course, I got the blades sitting on, on there, but thank you very much, A's Back, for the case. I really appreciate it. It means a lot. And we'll finish it out today with fine American blend aftershave, which will have us smelling really nice, I hope. <laughs> and we'll be off to a great day. And I hope wherever you are, you have a great day as well. Uh, I forgot to mention the brush. The brush was West Coast Shaving, two-tone. The bowl, Captain's Choice, copper, as always. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.